Hello everyone, it's July 17, 2022. I recently saw a quote from U.S. General Mitchell that said, I believe that in the future, whoever holds Alaska will hold the world. I think it is the most important strategic location in the entire world. This made me wonder why, considering that in the past, Alaska was not considered to be worth much. In 1867, Alaska was a colony of the Russian Empire and was sold to the United States for only $7.2 million which would be about $111 million today. Also, for the large size of Alaska, which is bigger than Texas, Montana, and California combined, there are only around 730,000 people that live there with, 40, with around 40% in the city of Anchorage. Despite being in a remote and isolated location, Anchorage is in a is a strategically and well-placed city for a number of reasons. And today I'll talk about why that is from an aviation perspective. Before the Cold War, the most effective way to travel via plane from Europe to Tokyo was across Siberia. And at that time, planes couldn't fly that distance all at once. They had to stop to refuel. This became a problem during the Cold War when the Soviet Union closed their airspace to the West. The next best route happened to pass over Anchorage, Alaska, and since no plane at that time could fly continuously that distance, flights began coming into Anchorage from diverse cities from all over the world. This caused Anchorage to become more influential and wealthy and considered by some to be the crossroads of the world. However, this was potentially driven or politically driven and wouldn't last forever. In 1989, the Soviet Union reopened their airspace to the west and technological innovations allowed aircraft to fly the distance from Europe to Asia in a single trip without layovers. This led, this led to a huge drop in flights through Anchorage, resulting also in, in significant losses in revenue. Despite the loss of international passenger flights, the Anchorage airport is still the, large, the third busiest airport in the United States due to cargo. Up to 500 wide-body cargo planes go through the Anchorage airport every week of the year on average. In fact, it, it was the busiest airport in the world for one day in April 2020 when, due to the COVID-19 pandemic, passenger air traffic plummeted. Because of its geographical location, stopping in Anchorage to refuel allows airline carriers to choose to carry less fuel and more cargo. For example, Anchorage falls almost exactly between New York City and Tokyo and is less than 9.5 hour flight from the entirety of the United States, Japan and South Korea and most of China and Europe. This strategically allows carriers transporting goods from Asia to their largest market of North America to carry heavier cargo loads, resulting in potentially $115 million in added revenue over the course of the year. This strategic location also spurred FedEx and UPS to open shipping hubs in Anchorage. Uh, it's also possible that someday Anchorage uh, may again become an international passenger hub. Uh, the Anchorage airport has proposed having one-stop layover between cities in India and the United States. This would prevent having layovers in third-party countries and could help Anchorage grow as an international city. Thanks for checking out my channel. Uh, please like and subscribe and uh, have a wonderful day. Thanks again.